drinking buddies, we have finally reached the finale, the final four of Bottled and Bond whiskeys. We did a whole tournament. I'm your drinking buddy. I didn't know that I was going to be doing this in a tournament. I just had my wife pour me four blinds from up here. Um, and the winner of that round was this Wilderness Trail Yellow Label. But every round since has been a complete wild card, a complete double blind. I don't know what any of the rounds are. The only winner I know for sure is up here is that Wilderness Weeded. Uh, the other three, I have no idea. Um, I haven't really been doing much of bottle guessing, um, so I really don't know. I suspect if I had to make guesses, I would say that there is a rye up here. Um, and then possibly this E.H. Taylor single barrel or this um, Wild Turkey 101, which I will point out is the only non bottled and bond bottle up here, but I threw it up here because, you know, it's, it's they, they created it as a response to the bottled and bond. Basically, uh, the idea is we're 101 proof, we're better, we're bolder, we're bigger. Uh, so that's why I threw this one in here, just to see how it would compare. Oh, there's some bourbons up here. There's this triple mash from Jack Daniels. There's mellow corn. There's rye whiskeys. There's, just, there's a lot going on up here. Let's dive right in. Buttercream frosting, really sweet and like desserty on the nose. Wow. I like that. Honey. A little slight citrus zest, slight citrus zest on here. A little bit of cereal grains coming through. Oh, yeah. Um, I like that. A little bit of a spicy thing going on in here, like maybe like cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon and uh, like pumpkin spices. A little bit of brown sugar. That is, that's good. Uh, oh, uh, some cherry coming through on the finish. No, you know what? I wouldn't call it cherry. I would say it's more like raisin. This one, this one's a little darker, more rich. Oh yeah, this is more like dark fruit. Um, so like dark cherries and like, like plums. Maybe a little bit of a raisin thing on here too. The raisin thing came through on here. Brown sugar, bourbon vanilla, a lot of classic bourbon notes. I'm pretty sure that's a bourbon, but yeah, that's really good. Uh, first two, we're, we're doing well. We're doing well here. Okay, this one's got more cereal grains on the nose. <sighs> yeah, a little bit of youth going on here. Not much, not much oak presence. Vanilla coming through. Maybe a little, a little bit of black tea. That is, that is really good. Um, yeah, stone fruit, so like peaches right off the bat. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm just putting the idea in my head. I'm talking about the wild turkey at the beginning, but this is kind of reminding me of that, that, that cherry. But yeah, this is really fruity. Yeah, fruity, vanilla. That is just really good. I think that might be top notch over these three. A little bit of a, a hint, just like a hint of a rye spice. Not saying it's rye whiskey. I know one of these at least is rye, but I'm not saying that's rye whiskey. I'm saying it could be like a rye bourbon or a high rye bourbon. I'm not sure, but yeah, a little bit of a rye spice. Now this is a rye. This is a rye. I'm immediately getting herbal tea. Yeah, uh, pumpkin, like baking spices. Yeah, this one smells like a rye to me. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, definitely a rye. Um, 
Definitely a rye. Uh, we got the rye spice. We got, uh, we do have some bourbon vanilla going on on here. Really nice sweetness on here. Brown sugar, like molasses. Um, no fruit presence on this one. Um, black tea coming through. Yeah, a little bit of an herbal note that I would call uh, like mint, like it's like spearmint. That's definitely a rye. Well, I'm gonna go through these again and then we'll try to figure out which is our favorite. I'll call my wife in here and she can reveal what they are. So I'm bumping this one back a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and say this is my winner. Uh, let's reveal my, my least favorite first. Um, I still really like it, but it did fall a little bit flat to me, which was 15. Okay, 15 is Rittenhouse Bottled and Bond. Okay, that makes sense, because I did say that I thought this was a rye. Um, so it's the regular, not the pick? Not the private. So the pick didn't make it in, but the regular did. Okay, that's pretty weird. Okay. All right, so number one. Is the Wilderness Trail of Bella. Okay. All right, makes sense. I kind of figured this was a bourbon. Good, good, good showing for it. It was, a, it was third, came in third in the competition, so that's good. And then number eleven was second. And that is um, the Wilderness Trail Rye Whiskey. Oh man. Okay, so when I did the Wilderness Trail thing with the, I preferred the rye bourbon. Okay, that's weird. But yeah, this is excellent. This is like, I like I need to do just like a head to head with the Baldwin and Vaughn Rise. Um, I usually prefer the old Overholt and wow, yeah, that's really cool. Wilderness Trail, I hope you're watching. And then my um, number five was the winner. That is your Colonel E.H. Taylor Small Batch. Single barrel? Small batch. So not the single barrel. No, small batch. Were they in the same round? They were not. No. Um, number nine was the Colonel E.H. Taylor single barrel. And so that one was in the round with all the heavy hitters. The one that I like literally was racking my brain trying to fi figure that out what would win. The, the private written house. That one had um, the Boris Trail Rye Whiskey. Okay. That one had my like, Okay, all right. That was the round where I was literally like calling everything Wild Turkey 101. But that was the best round. That round uh, arguably is is on par with this one. That round was so good. I mean, that's what happens. So when you tell me to choose random, I just choose random. So sometimes you're gonna have really heavy hitters, just like in, in the yeah. normal tournament. Yeah, and, and maybe it might be beneficial to, if I do something like this again, to like separate them and put them, you know, bourbons together, rise together you know, um, old together, young together, uh, miscellaneous together, where I have things like this triple Nash and the mellow corn, um, you know, maybe it would be a beneficial to do something like that. But I mean, the truth is it just, it gave wild results and, and we haven't, I mean, this is an excellent bottle. There's a reason that people go crazy for the C.H. Taylor small batch. It's excellent. This Wilderness Trail Rye Whiskey, I'm going to recommend tenfold. Go out and buy it, as well as this um, Wilderness Trail Yellow Label. Uh, go buy it. It's excellent. And then, if you want a budget, uh, budget-friendly rye whiskey that's about 20 bucks that you can mix, you can make cocktails with, you can sip neat, you can you can introduce a friend to a to a whiskey that's not maybe a whiskey drinker. Rittenhouse is a great way to go. Mm -hmm. Drinking buddies, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, leave a comment down below if you uh, have tasted any of these. What would win if you did this? Have you ever done something like this before? What's your favorite bottle and bond? Leave that in the comment down below. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.